So do you think that designing a crazy road like this is just impossible? That you don't have the skills in asset making or haven't even peeked at the asset editor in City Skyline since 2015? Like me? Well, I'm that person. I've got no asset making skills at all. But with this simple mod, you can be bashing out amazing roads made to your own crazy designs in no time at all. Let me show you how. So this is the mod you need, the blank road builder, which at the moment is at beta version 0.2.0. Uh, originally, this was based on a mod by Trajack, is now worked on by TDW. And this is the mod that you need to make your own roads for those who've never made roads before. You want bus lines, tram roads, parking, bike, car, the works, you can do it with this. Now, let's go through the steps you need to install this, to set it up and then work on making a road together so let's dive into that so first of all step one installation you need to subscribe to this mod here and be aware of the required items over on the right hand side harmony adaptive networks and traffic manager as well you want to make sure you subscribe to those i would also add to that list the intersection marking tool which will become apparent why as we dive into making our own road so subscribe to that as well once you've subscribed to that have a look at the collection here the blank road builder that does include these mods as well but there's some other items in here that you may wish to make use of so it's worth grabbing this collection too okay so you've subscribed to all of those this is where another mod might come in handy the loading order mod particularly if you use normally a lot of assets in your game i'll show you what to do with this so let's jump into the loading order mod next before we dive into city skylines itself just a little warning, be sure to read all of this information down here for setting up the loading order mod. Do not skip over it, as many people will do, because there's a couple of things you'll need to install to make this work. And then you need to go to this location here to find the loading order mod tool, which is what I'm going to show you next. So here we go. This is the load order tool. The EXE is found in that folder that I mentioned before. And when you first start it up, it's going to show you all the mods listed down here and all the assets that you have subscribed to from the Steam Workshop. Well, these are all the ones that are found in the Workshop folder on your hard drive. If you look over to the side here, we can see that some of them are included or discluded and some are enabled or disabled. If it's included, when you load up City Skylines, that mod will be in the list of mods in the game. And if it's enabled, it will be enabled. If it's disabled, it will be disabled, which makes sense. So for some of these mods, if we, for instance, look at the unlimited money mod, that is a mod that's included in the game. So I would always include that. And then depending on what you're doing, you might want to enable it or disable it like we have this one set up here. So the first step I would take is to make a backup of what your current setup is. So if we go into file and export, that will export from this tool. And you will open up this folder here. Obviously yours might be named slightly differently. And these are all the profiles or XML files. So I would say name this whatever your normal city is. So we'll do test backup. We'll call that one and save. And we can see down here this profile is called test backup. Now you want to make a new profile for making your roads. So we're now going to export again, and we're going to call this one Road Maker. There we go, excellent, and we're going to save that one. So this is the one that we want to play around with. It's probably easier just to disable everything. So if you click Disable All and Exclude All, and then you can go through and set it up the way that you like. Let me just quickly do that. There we go so if we go to the top here included so these are the ones that we're using for blank road builder and then like i said you can add move it or other ones in that may work you can do some testing yourself for your assets if you click on the assets tab it's a good idea to exclude all of your assets if you have a lot we've got about 5,000 in here and just pick ones that related to road use and then include those so once all of that has been done we are now going to save that so we go to file export and remember we called that Roadmaker, so we're going to save that. 
and we're going to replace it and that is fine and then what you would do before you load the game is you would go order reset order so the order was fine then save settings in the file menu that tells city skylines these are the mods and the assets that i wish to use then you go to launch and set it up the way i have here and do launch city skylines and the game will launch and while we're waiting for your game to load, that'll be a great time to grab a quick sip of tea and go and check out my merch store as well. Okay, so here we are in the game. I'm just going to skip past that there and close this. I know my mods are okay. So we are going to click a button that you probably never clicked before. Or like me, you only clicked it once in 2015 and never went back. We're going to dive into the editors section and we're going to click on asset editor and we're going to do a new one. There we go, we select our theme, and then depending on how many assets you have and how uh, fast or slow your game loads, you may have to wait again. Um, so let's just wait for this to scroll through. As far as I'm aware, the loading screen mod doesn't work in the asset editor, so that's why you need to trim down your assets if you normally rely on that mod to load your game, but I think we're gonna be okay. Right, so eventually when it loads up, we get to the asset importer and you wanna click on road and continue. And then just wait a minute while it loads up all your roads. So we are going to make a reasonably large road. Let's pick, uh, this is just a template. So we're basically going to completely change it. Let's go with a four lane avenue and we'll click continue. And there we go. We're now in the asset editor. Oh my goodness me. So this is how, <laughs> this is all the stuff you would normally use uh, over here. We're just going to forget all of that and we're going to go to open thumbnail maker. And what this is going to do is actually open a Windows tool. Here we go. So we've got that on the screen. Um, if you wish to change this to look a bit easier on the eye, if you go into, I know it's up here, right click and theme changer, you can change the UI scale. I've got mine at 150. Um, I've got this set to white, so it's easy to see, but normally I would have this set to a different theme. If we go back here and go to switch to, I normally use the dark theme like that. That's a bit easier on my eyeballs, but I'm thinking for the video, probably this one will be fine so what do we have here well at the moment we have the option to make a road coming soon is the option to make a highway or a pedestrian street not yet but coming soon we can choose our region and type of road we'll come back to that we have the road size the speed limit of the road the buffer size there's a little hover if you hover over here determines how far should the lanes be from the sidewalk i normally leave that as it is and then text one two three four we'll see that up here on the side there and then up here will be the name of your road so at the minute it's blank road four that's the name of the mod so let's add some lanes in now what you want to think when you're doing this is you want to add in half of the road if it's going to be the same each side that is add half the road and then we can use the duplicate flip lane button so i've clicked add lane we've got this box to pop up what i'm going to do is just add some lanes in so i'm just going to add a few in i'm not going to do anything with them you can when this pops up set it to what it's going to be but i like to just work with blank ones and then take it from there let's just delete that last one there okay so this is working from the outside of the road in and then that's the inside of the road working out again that's the way to think about it we always are going to have a pedestrian uh, access added to the side uh, automatically so you don't need to do that so if you imagine that this line at the top here is a pedestrian and then next to that, I'm going to add in, let's just work through a basic road and see how we go. I'm going to add a bike road next, uh, bike lane, I should say next. That is going to be just one of those. We'll come to these options in a moment. And then next to that, I want a little bit of protection uh, for my peeps. So I'm going to add, let's say grass in there. And you can see it's building up the thumbnail over here to give you a visual representation of what it's going to look like which is great uh, then we're going to have a couple of car lanes so we're going to have one car lane there and another car lane there then we're going to have running down the middle uh let's say have oh this row is getting bigger than I, I thought it was going to be let's let's just go whole hog and add some stuff in we're going to have tram then this one i wanted bus as well so i'm going to do bus then i'm going to move it to where i want it so i want that uh over here so we've got the protected bike lane, then we've got bus, then we've got car, then we've got tram. Excellent. So now what we want to do is set up these road directions. 
Um, so if we go for a European road, we're going up on the left-hand side, and this is the left-hand side that we're doing first. Uh, the bike lane, I'm going to say that can go both ways. And you can change that to be one lane wide, both direction, or two lane, and that will take up two lanes in your road. Uh, I think perhaps we're going to do that one way, and we're going to just have one width. And then we're going to have the grass lane, and we're going to make that, let's say, 50%. So it's half the size, as you can see in the picture. We've got the bus lane here, so we're going to have that going the same way. Then we're going to have that going the same way, and our car going the same way. And then our tram, yeah, we're going to have that going the same way as well. There we go. They're all set. What I'm going to do, just to show you what happens, is I'm going to pretend that I didn't set this tram one. And I'm going to try and duplicate the flip lanes. There we go. So now we can just copy all of this to over here. So we've got bike lanes on the outside, then protected tree, then bus, then car, then tram. And you can see these are still not set down here. But what it's done is it's flipped all of these to go the other direction, which is great. So that is basically the road set up. It is literally as simple as that. So we need to get that into the game. Just before we save this road, something you can do, we take, let's take this car lane here and click on that. You can have multiple things. Uh, on a road so we can go car we can go bike we can go tram all on the same lane obviously that doesn't sound very safe but for certain designs of roads that might be what you wish to do what did we have on here car tram that's what i want to turn off there we go you can see it lights up when it's included so that's good so that's back to how it was before but i thought i would mention that let's come out of that make sure everything's okay okay so remember here the tram i've not selected a direction and i've done that deliberately because what we do next is export the configuration to road builder and it's going to pop up a warning you need to specify the direction of all non-filler lanes before you export this road so filler lanes would be uh, empty grass pavement gravel and i'm assuming trees as well so we'd look down here and go oh look we haven't set these so that one's up that one's down now it's done excellent so now we want to export that to the road builder which is the actual in the city skylines editor we can save the thumbnail from here so if you want that on your desktop for use in summer cows you can copy the description uh, i'm going to just take that down so there's you can see how that works um this has automatically set the width of the road we could change the width of the road ourselves let's say we went for 50 and what that would do was take the standard width of all the lanes car lanes bus lanes tram lanes and any space that was left over it would increase our filler lanes so we've got grass here and grass here it would increase those even though we've got them set at 50 percent it would increase them to take up whatever's left between what was between 38 and 50 wasn't it it would make up the difference so keep that in mind i'm going to remove that and leave it at whatever size it comes out at this is where we can see the region change we've got 40 mile an hour in usa 25 kilometers an hour uh, or probably actually 25 miles an hour they use there or kilometers oh, God, i don't know it changes all the time canada it says kilometers what does it say on this one usa style yeah miles an hour so don't know why it's dropped it down to 25 but anyway you can set that up here if you wish so we can change that to 100 we we'll do enter go back 100 ah oh, the font i'm using is just overlapping a little bit there well we can change that if we go into options over here we can change our font uh, we can't change the font size as far as i know but we can change the type of font let's have a look yeah probably 100 is a little bit too much let's go to 90 and that will fit in there we go um also in here options you can change the color of things you click on here uh, right click on a color to reset it middle click to clear it and i think that is just the colors that show in here that doesn't affect anything else i think that's everything set up we can see it's given it a road name very descriptive based on blank road for bus plus fill bus i know oh you can probably work out what they all mean car car tram tram car car bus s and then bike now we export it <laughs> export configuration to road builder i'm going to click this button here there we go and it's added it to the list at the bottom down here now as this is a windows tool i'm going to move this onto my other monitor over here and keep it open we'll come back to that in a bit but now we're back into city skylines we want to build the blank road so i'm going to click this button here and it opens up the blank road builder so this is the list that you saw zoink down the side here of all the roads that i've been messing around with and this is the last one made so we're going to click continue and then don't touch the screen do anything 
until the game starts uh, moving again this just takes a minute or two. Oh, we get this menu first i completely forgot about this <laughs> yeah so you can touch the screen now but i just normally leave that as it is uh, and don't mess with that so now continue and don't touch the screen what i do to test whether the game's working again or not is use my middle uh, scroll wheel i just scroll in and out and if it doesn't work i know the game's still frozen rather than left or right click on the screen because that can just make it crash can't it click there we go generating so that menu's disappeared so i'm going to scroll in and out yep so we're back in the game excellent so now we go down here, and this is the option to place your custom road. Ignore that picture there. That was the basic road that we started with, wasn't it, before we adjusted it. And we're just going to do uh, 10U long. And there we go. That is our road. And you might be going, hang on a minute. That doesn't look like the sort of road I'm used to. Well, not yet. And it's an easy fix, so don't worry. Coming up in a future version will be the option to toggle on and off or have automatically applied the road markings that you would expect to see on a road. So if we go into our normal road menu, uh, go to this slightly wider one here, just grab something like that. So these sort of road markings will be automatically applied. But at the moment, you can do them yourself. And some people may be quite happy to do them themselves. So, you know, that's good. And I am. And I've got some templates set up. And we're going to make use of the intersection marking tool. So let me just talk you through. Let's click on this node here. And we've got lots of lines on here to help us to set this thing up. Now, what I do now is I open up the lanes over here. And you've got all of these lanes that are listed. What are all of these? And how does that tie into what we see on here? Okay, I've just shrunk this window a bit of Thumbnail Maker so we can see both things at once. So as you hover over here, you can see that it highlights the lanes in there. Uh, we know that there's lanes in the middle for trams. So if you hover over those, there's our two tram lanes that line up with this. And if we go outwards, then we've got two car lanes on that side and two car lanes on that side. Then we've got this one that says transport vehicle car. That is actually the bus lane. Um, the reason it says car is because that's just the way that the City Skylines editor works. If you click on there, it will say vehicle category bus. So we know we're on the right one. And then if we move out, we've got uh, vehicle transport. So that's the bus. Then we've got the nun. Um, and that is the one that's next to our bus lane, which is our grass lane. Then we've got vehicle bicycle and then we've got pedestrian. So there is a pedestrian path, as you can see, on both sides, which is automatically added. Um, then you get a nun, which is automatically added on both sides. So I think that is just the edge of the asset. But then you get this extra nun at the top, which is the whole thing. So that top nun you can ignore. The next nun down you can ignore. And then the nun right at the bottom you can ignore. But everything else in the middle is your lane so yes for setting this up an intersection marking tool let us open that up there we go and click on that so what i tend to do is work my way through logically so i've got open on my there we go i'm going to drag this to my other window just in case i need it to help me but i know on this one we've got the trams in the middle and i want a line going through there so you can see on the middle there if you hold shift i'm going to get a solid line through the middle which is excellent um, then I'm going to do my bike lane. So we'll come down to this end here. Vehicle, bicycle. Let's just zoom in a little bit. So we can see what ones we need to fill in here. So I'm going to put, hold shift, a nice line down there, a demarcation. Probably don't actually need to do that, to be honest, because of what we're going to do next. But I've done it now. And then hold alt. And that allows us to do a filler. So I'm going to go down here. There we go. Click, click. And click over here. And I've got some templates. So if I go into my templates and bike lane there we go that adds a bike lane over there then i'm going to do the same over here there we go so we've got our two bike lanes filled in so going back to our tour we know next to the bike lane was our grass lane now as we said it doesn't automatically add the grass in but we can do that so bicycle the next one is none so that is the one that we want and i'm going to pop a filler on this one here let's go up to the end and we're going to do something a little bit different on here so we're going to do that uh we're going to change let's move that down there we're going to change this to grass we're then going to zoom in a little bit and down here we want curb size so let's add a little bit of a curb onto the side there yeah very good and then what we can do then is i'm also going to add a row of trees so i'm going to take uh, this line from here to here which 
I think I've already got a line here. So if I click control and then click there, it selects that line for me. And I'm going to add a rule onto here. And then we're going to change this to tree. And then we're going to pick in here everybody's favorite tree, the young linden. There we go. Excellent. So now that line has become a line of props. And I want to move that into the middle of here. So we've got a protected bike lane. Very good, very good. So we've got that set up on that side. So now what we can do is we can copy that and put that over here. And what we could do as well, let me just think. Filler, grass, yeah. So if we copy the filler and then add that in, so hold Alt. Paste, there we go, the grass. Uh, and then if we come back over here, I want my lines. Um, so actually, I'm going to do this on this one here. So that's our tree line, isn't it? So if we copy that, and then we're going to do it on the outside this time. Hold Control. There we go. We're going to paste that in. Excellent. Oh, and it's put it in exactly the right spot. Fantastic. So now we've got our bike lane. We've got protected one with the trees. So next on the list, let's go back to Thumb Maker over here. Or we can look up here. Look, we've got Transport Vehicle Car, which we know is Bus. So let's do that again at the same way. So I'm going to hold Alt Bus Lane. Rather large on this one. I've left it at a very big size. That's okay. And I've got a... I'm going to... I've called it Red Bike Path. We're going to use that as the bike lane. There we go. That's our bus lane done. And then I'm going to want a line down here. So I'm going to hold... Uh, do you want to really delete this line? No, I don't. I want, let's have a look, where is that line? There's that line there. I want to add a rule and I want to make that a solid line. Excellent. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same over here. Add rule, make that a solid line. There we go. Excellent. So that's between the buses and the cars. And I know down the middle here, we're going to have a dash line. So that's just drawn straight in without hold of anything. And then next to the tram, I'm going to hold shift and that's going to make a demarcation for the tram. There we go. And if you wanted to color the tram in, you could. But there we go. I mean, that was so simple and quick to do. So there's a couple of things missing on here that you might want to add as well, which is some marking to show that this is a bus lane um, and this is a bike lane. So how would we do that? Well, let's do the one on this side. So we're coming out of intersection marking tool. We're finding vehicle bicycle lane. We're going down to props. We're going to add new. There we go. Click on new prop. And then we're going to scroll this all the way to the bottom. So the beauty about this tool, Thumbnail Maker, means that we're making roads like this without worrying about all of this stuff here, which is just fantastic. So down here, we click on new prop. Because all of this, I would look at that and my eyes glaze over. I'd be like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so this is just fantastic. Um, I've got a lot of assets. So just wait a second for this all to load up. There we go. It's all loaded. And then in here, I'm going to go for bicycle. No, is it bike? Yeah, bike lane. So I'm going to put a bike lane symbol. We're going to click that. Um, compact bike lane. Actually, we could use that one. It's got the arrow and the bike. So if I clicked it, yeah, click select. Give it a second. Oh, it gets you back out to this menu. So we'll close those two windows there. There we go. Look, so it's added it on to this lane. So don't forget there's no nodes in the middle here. If we added the node in the middle, it would put it this side and this side. Um, but this is one segment, so it's popped it in there, which is good. So we can do the same on the other side as well. Let me keep the road facing this way so I know what the heck I'm doing. There we go. Is so that added one on the other side? Just about see it there. And it's automatically facing in the right direction because we set our directions up in Thumbnail Maker, um, if you remember before. So that is good. Um, I'm also going to do the same with our bus lanes. And I'm going to just show you a little trick to make these symbols show up a little bit clearer. So let me just do these. By the way, as you're going through this and adding in a new prop, uh, all of these items that are up here, I believe, are to do with when you attach roads to this road. You'll get the lane arrows come out and then you'll set them up with uh, Traffic Manager to give them dedicated turning lanes and all that sort of thing. That's what these are for. So don't remove any of those. They're automatically added. And yeah, don't click the screen whenever it's loading assets like this because your game will crash. Like when this is loading, don't click the screen. <laughs> don't do anything because you don't want to lose all your work so far. Don't you dare. 
Okay, there we go. So now we've got our bus only symbols in there. Bit difficult to read, isn't it? So that's okay. We can do something about that. And also our bike one, a little bit difficult to read. Let's open intersection marking tool again and select this. And let's find our filler. So this is the one for this side. And if we click on here, I believe, here, where do we click? We can click on here and we can change this. I'm actually scroll. There we go. That's what it is. I was waiting for something to pop up. So I'm going to scroll that down to 135 and we're going to do the same on this one as well over here. There we go, 135 and then our bus lanes, let's have a look. That's 84, what should we scroll that down to zero? <laughs> because that's not the one I wanted to scroll, is it? It's this one, the green. Mm, it's actually not made any difference. Am I not clicking on the right thing? What am I clicking on? What am I adjusting? I was not adjusting the right thing at all there, was I? Oh, I have. Look, I've turned this one purple. Oh, dear. What have I done? Actually, that's not, a, that's not a bad color, is it, for a bike lane? Normally, they're sort of blue in color, aren't they? I think I do have a blue bike lane. Do I? No, I don't. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let me do the correct one over here. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, you get the idea. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste that one over there. So we'll get that the same. So you can make it easy to see. So now you're probably getting the idea that you can add uh, breakers. You can add medians with trees. And because we're using the intersection marking tool option to add props like this, you could put curbs, you could put bollards, you could put trees inside pots on top of clown heads. You know, there's so many things that you could do. Right, now, the next step is to get this amazing thing that you've made uh, into the game. So, first of all, we want to make sure that we've saved all of this because all the intersection marking tool stuff will not be automatically added to the game. So, we are going to go up here after I've clicked this node and then we click up here, save as preset. There we go. We'll see a picture of the road that we've done. We'll give that a name. So, I'm going to call that test road one and tick and that is now saved inside our preset over here you can see the one that I was working on earlier uh, before this video excellent now we need to actually save the road as well so let's take some pictures first of all we click down here asset editor settings so we've got this one here which is the snapshot tool um, so we're just going to do that. This is when we're sharing. So I'm going to zoom out a bit and get a picture of that. This one here is the thumb shot tool. We can see it's changed the shape and made it square. Probably not the best thumbnails ever, but it is what it is. And we've got this one here, which shows it a little bit wider. You have to ignore this road properties thing over here. There we go. So we've got those. Now we want to save it. So we'll click up here and save asset. Now it's going to load in with the name that we had in our thumb tool over here. Um, but then we can change that again. Do not click the screen when the blue circle is spinning. It's spinning. <laughs> there we go. So there's the picture that we took up there. Here's the tooltip image, uh, which is pre-made for us. The thumbnail is pre-made as well, showing it's made by the mod. You've got a couple of different options there you may wish to choose from. And we've got the great big long name here, which has taken as we saw from Thumbnail Maker. I'm going to take that all away and this is going to be called test road one you could put in a more descriptive name uh, we can rename the road here as well i've done that and it doesn't seem to do anything so i'm going to leave that one and just go with this one um oh i think renaming the roads coming up in a future future add-on to the uh update i should say so we're going to save that and then we're going to load up the game and take a look at how to get that in our game Oh, that took a second. I accidentally clicked on the screen and panicked for a minute then, but now it's saved. So now I'm going to quit the game altogether. Um, if you go back, actually, to, I can show you this, the load order tool, you can terminate City Skylines from here, which will just shut down City Skylines completely. So make sure you've saved everything. And then I'm going to load up, instead of my asset editor, I'm going to go to File, Import, and I'm going to import my, here we go, UK City setup. So let me just show you how that works. You click Open, give it a second. There we go. Then this window pops open. We've got no missing items, which is good. And I'm going to replace. So I'm going to completely replace my asset editor setup with my UK City setup. There it all is. So let me do that. Let me terminate and relaunch. And I'll be back with you. Right, so here we are in game. We just loaded up a blank map and we're going to find our road. So I know what it's called. Test roads. There we go. We can find it. And we've got the nice little picture there. Blank roads. 
a ridiculously long name, but it gives you all the information. And you'll notice in the bottom of the explanation there, it says, this road comes with no markings. Use intersection marking tool to mark it. So we know about that. So when we place this down, it's going to look a little bit odd. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that's what it looks like. So if you don't do anything else, we've got these because we added them in game. Um, but other than that, we haven't got anything else. Now, when the next update comes, or when the update comes that has this option, this will come with the basic lines. But we're sorted, aren't we? We're okay, because we used Intersection Marking Tool to save our presets. So we go to Presets, uh, Close Fit, that's the one I want. Test Road 1, and we're going to add that in. Woohoo! Excellent! Very good. We're going to click yes. And then we're also going to apply that to the whole street. Uh, yes. And that's going to go all the way down. Excellent. So now we have our road in game. Now, the thing to remember is uh, with intersection marking tool, this is just how it works. Um, whenever you set up any intersection marking tool stuff, I think we're going to for you. We'll probably see our road in here. I wonder what menu it's put it under. For you, let's have a look through here. I can't remember what the size was of it now. So these are all obviously sorted by size. Let's come up here. <laughs> it's, it's in here somewhere anyway. It doesn't really matter, does it? So if we just pick one of these. Uh, this one I do. And if we build off of here, let's make this a ground level so we don't have any messing around. It is going to mess up the intersection marking tool. Yeah, that's just the way intersection marking tool goes. So normally you'd want to set up all of your roads first then do the intersection mark and you can see it's put the arrows in here which is great uh, so we're going to go back to our presets we're going to say yes we're going to say yes okay right click and apply and then is that going to let me do it all the way yes it does excellent and then you would do your other intersection marking in here where you would say people in the bus lane they could go straight on like that that would be protected we'll have the protected bike lane what the heck <laughs> just dragging out there i just wanted to drag that one line out i don't know what happened there there we go and then you'd go excellent we'll go over here we'll click on this one. Oh, ah, there we go and i want to copy this one here phillips that's what i'm looking for bike lane i'm going to copy that and then I'm going to add a filler into here. So it's very easy. Uh, what do I want to do? Press Alt, don't I? Let's select that. Press Alt. There, 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 and there. And then we'll paste that in. And now we've got our bike lane goes all the way through. And you can add the trees. You can do it all. So that is, oh, that is an amazing looking road. What I would like to do now, and you can see, like, we've got the arrows automatically in. Remember I spoke about those before because we've now got a junction and they all work as they should. Uh, if we go into here, control, left click, dedicated turning lane, baby, all working. So now I'm wondering is, what is the craziest road that we could make that adds in all of the options from the thumbnail maker? Let me have a look. So how about this 15 lane behemoth double cycle lanes on each side protected. We've got bus, trolley bus, three lanes for cars, double wide tram in the middle going in both directions. Then repeat to the other side, extra wide pavements. Boy, this is a 100 meter <laughs> wide road. Let me get this all filled in in game and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like. I must be mad. Oh my life. I don't think I've ever placed a road this big. Oh, good gravy. That is that is a lot of lanes <laughs> to be filling in. Oh, it's going to be some time. It's going to be some time. So here we go. This is the Behemoth Road. It's got extra wide pavement at the side and a nice little detail down there with some uh, flower pots. We've got bollards protecting the two-way bike lane through here. There we go. You can go both directions on this side. Nice little tree on grass action. Then we have bus. Then we have trolley bus. Then we have three lanes of car traffic in each direction and through the middle we have a double tram road which is absolutely brilliant and it's repeated on the other side as well and this is a good example of how you can set up the amount of lanes that you want and then because i set the road to be 100 meters wide it made the pavements fill up whatever space was left after you put the lanes in so that's how we've ended up with an extra wide pavement what do you reckon to my creation what can you make 
Well, I'll be interested to see. If you want to know more about this mod and get more help, head on over to the Discord of TDW, which is going to be linked in the description below. And if you enjoy this type of video, let me know with a like and a subscription. And be sure to hang around for some more fun City Skyline stuff coming your way. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye.